Remember to do business with us. Our numbers are scrolling on the screen, and we are also on YouTube. Our name is Black Empire Media. We are ready to do business with you. Come along, make we do it. And we are all over social media. We are number one all across Africa and beyond. This is the biggest show when it comes to Pan Africanism. Oh gosh, it's all about Africa. I love it when people get so Africanized, just like Black Jesus. Look at where the man is coming from. Everything about his is black. He's singing black, talking black. I love this. Next thing. And it's rolling. What does it say? A black one gets unnecessary voter support. Oh, I thought every support was okay. So we can have some kind of support that's unnecessary. But why would people give you unnecessary support? Who is a black one? Samuel Okujeto a black one. Member of Parliament for North Town in the Volta region. He has the support of his constituency. Oh my God. I love this guy. But what support are we talking about? Watch it. There will be furious reactions if a black one is treated unjustly. Volta Regional NDC cautions. This is interesting. What is this about? What is it all about? I can't get it. Come here. The Volta Regional Caucus of the National Democratic Congress says it will react furiously if North Tong MP Samuel Okujeto Ablakwa is treated unjustly in court. The NDC lawmaker is expected to appear in court on February 21 following a suit over his publications about the secretary to the board of the National Cathedral, Reverend Victor Kusi Boatin. But the NDC Volta Regional Caucus believes that the suit is part of government's efforts to gag and witch hunt the legislator and has therefore warned that it will hold government responsible if a black one is treated roughly in the upcoming trial. The caution was contained in a statement by the regional communication officer, Soka Agbleze. I love these names. We intensely call on this government not to embarrass this nation further by doing anything untoward to unravel Okujato Ablakwa because currently, its popularity is extremely low and that, bur and that burning desire for the ordinary Ghanaian to vent their anger is ubiquitous. We want to loudly and clearly once again warn that should anything unjust happen to Unravel Okujato Ablakwa in his bid to, head the, to heed the invitation to appear in court on the 21st day of February, there certainly will be a furious spark of reactions, not only in the Volta region, but across the country. Portions of the statement read, earlier, supporters of the National Democratic Congress, NDC, in the North Town constituency, had similarly warned that they would not take it lightly if the MP was harmed by the state. Mm -mm -mm. In a strongly worded statement, the constituents said, they had observed how the MP Samuel Okujeto Ablakwa was being heckled in his quest to hold government accountable. Boom. According to the aggrieved party folks, the attempts to prevent Ablakwa from lawfully performing his duties is an indication of government's penchant for fighting anybody who shows an aversion towards corruption. Meanwhile, the executive director of the Media Foundation for West Africa, Suleimana Brema, has indicated that North Tong MP Okujoto Ablakwa is being pursued over his recent attempts to expose corruption. Referring to the NDC lawmaker, he said corruption is fighting him back. So you see where we got that from? Corruption fights back. Ablakwa. In a tweet on Thursday, he said part of the attempts to sabotage Mr. Ablakwa include an allegation about his ownership of an unregistered farm. Come here. So you see, you see, that's what it is. The government is fighting Ablakwa terribly. It's a witch hunt. They have brought out some unregistered companies, according to them. Ablakwa said they are all fictitious. 
is a way of putting out his private information out by using false information. Because he's, he's hurting their biggest prophet, Reverend Victor Kusi Boateng. Instead of coming to court with the facts, they are heckling him before even going to court. Some are calling him, threatening him, insulting him. What kind of a nation is this? But this is unnecessary. I'm speaking to the NDC Volta Caucus. If you are angry, the anger should go towards the right direction. If a black one goes to court and is treated unjustly, it's about the courts. Is it the judges you hold responsible or the president? Or the president is now... We know that they have influences. But you cannot hold the president responsible alone. The courts should also be held responsible if a black one is not treated fairly. So this support must come in the right direction. I was expecting that they would say, okay, now people are heckling him. People are fighting him. If anything happens to him before he goes to court and proves himself, the nation would stand up. So that means we are trying to let you know that we don't want him to be harmed and that we are watching every movement. But to say, if he goes to court and is treated unjustly, it's almost like saying that we believe that he will lose the case or they will manipulate and let him lose the case. No. Let the courts do their work. Let's sit back and watch. If he's going the wrong way, we all will know. We all will come out and make noise. There's no way, no sense, for want a, a better word, there's no reason to come out and predict or preempt or prejudice the case and say that, oh, if he's treated unjustly, as if we already know that they are not going to treat him well. No. We are here, we are listening. And we are listening with rapt attention, watching every move. If anything funny happens, we would advise ourselves. But at this point, he's not gone to court yet. He's been heckled, dribbled left, right and center. Let's fight those fighting him outside the courts. Let's leave the courts alone. Despite the courts not performing up to our satisfaction, some of the judgments have been upright. Some of the cases were judged and we all were happy and we're like, wow, yes. Look at the time when the former chief justice has come out against her own government. Things are changing. We should encourage that. We should push the chief justice in this issue and some other issues. You understand the former chief justice and let us come out with positivity that we know that the nation is now rising above the wicked government of Nana Akufuado, including the uh, courts. For that matter, we expect a solid judgment. Don't let us chicken out of it and say that, oh, if it's treated unjustifiably, whatever it is, we are going to fight back. For me, I think that we are already trying to develop cold feet and make it look like our man is not going to make it in court. He has all the facts. I believe that even if they bring ghosts, he will still win. The facts are solid. Do you agree with me? Go on, skip a dodge. Blackwood. Cuckoo show.